Well, I pulled the uh, crankshaft and piston out of Mr. Grungy. As you can see, uh, quite amazingly, the bearings on the crankshaft are really good. I haven't wiped the oil off it, but uh, you see when I do their oil-water mix, um, bearings are in uh, very uh, good shape, which is good. Um, my intention is to use uh, every component off this engine that I can salvage. Um, the only thing I know I'm putting on new right now is uh, ignition points, probably condenser. Yeah, I see the piston there. Uh, good, uh, good news on it. Um, the uh, the second ring is uh, not seized in. It looks like the top ring may be though, just by the fact it hasn't uh, sprung out much yet. But. Uh, Judging by all the rust on it there and the, the seized top ring, it was a good idea that I pulled it apart. I uh, actually had some uh, luck the other day. Uh, I discovered uh, something I've been looking for for a long time. This is what's what I call the knocker head. It's a very high compression uh, head for a three-horse lawnmower that a friend of mine made uh, oh, probably ten years ago. And uh, I couldn't find it, so uh, another friend welded me up one for use on the, the Max Noise there a year ago. But I found the original knocker, so that's good. Along with it, I found this uh, special uh, modified piston here. It's for use in a compressed air engine, and it's got uh, two uh, rings back to back on on the, the top ring there. Uh, we machined a double uh, wide groove for the top ring, so that basically it's a full uh, full circle piston ring. Uh, so you put the two rings back to back. And the fact they kind of like a no gap ring or something that was our uh, idea anyway so so uh, I was glad to uh, glad to find uh, both of those parts anyway looks like I'm going to be up to at least six videos in the uh, Mr. Grungy series now so uh, stay posted and like I say I'll uh, get it back together and uh, get it running here sometime.